Hey, little Autumn. Hi, sweetie. Sorry, I startled you. Did you know that you're two years old? Did you? Do you guys remember when I got Autumn? She was just a tiny little baby to go with Angus. Angus had been neutered. He wasn't getting along with Bullseye anymore. And he needed a buddy. And it was little Miss Autumn here. And she was just the cutest little thing. Well, obviously, she's still as cute as anything. She's so beautiful. So I'm working really hard with Autumn to be able to pet her in the cage. We're getting there. It's about 50-50 whether I can or not. She is a really friendly pig and she loves to be out and be snuggled. And she's a really goofy pig in the cage. She's always doing laps and popcorns. She can be quite pushy with Angus if he's eating something that she wants. She just like plows right into him to take it. But they get along great, so that's all that matters to me. She's so gorgeous. On the one side, as you can see, she has the black. And if you look her, at her on the other side, all you can see is like the orange and the white. So she looks like a totally different pig when you look on the other side. She is so sweet. I can't believe you're two already. Where's little buddy Angus? Hey buddy. How's that pepper? You're so cute. Hi. You get it? She's one of those piggies that likes to lay down to eat and to have pellets and to have water. So I think we are a little bit chubby too. And then here's the sisters. Here's Miss Annie. Hi. How are you? Hi, gorgeous. And then we've got Annabelle. Hi, sweetie. Hello. Are you frozen? Oh, no, you're eating again. We've got little Ray in her recovery cage still. Can we get a good look at her? She's snoozing. So she's been doing really well. Everything looks like it's healing great, which is awesome. So today is Thursday, and it'll be Tuesday when she can go back with everybody. So I will have to do like a full introduction again, have the cages completely clean, and then add everybody at the same time. You would never want to just release Raisin into the herd's cage or vice versa just because it's their sense and that's kind of been her territory this has kind of been their territory so to make sure everything goes smooth I'll do what I did for the other girls just make it on a cage cleaning night and have everything super tidy and lots of distractions so here is Miss Pecan on the right we're almost getting to her seventh birthday I'm very excited and I hope she'll make it to there She's doing really well, so it'll be November when she turns 7 officially. I don't have an exact date for her, that was just a guesstimate, so for all I know she could already be 7. But that's pretty exciting. And then there is Miss Felvy. Miss Felvy is going to be 3 in October, so next month, which is crazy to think. She's just the cutest little thing. And then we have Huckster. Who is eating. Eating, doing what he does best. So hockey is going to be five next year. Isn't that crazy? Can't believe it. Where is Miss Reesey Bear? Oh, you guys might not be able to see, but we've got the butt end of Reesey Bear. I can see her two little feet and some poops. She's snoozing. Reesey Bear next year is going to be four. Like, where the heck does time go? I can't wait to get Raisin back with everybody. She definitely misses Reese. Uh, Reese is up at the bars every morning and they're like grooming each other. So normal morning for them was uh, Raisin would always clean off the tomato seeds that are on Reese's chin after they ate their tomato. So it's really been cute to see them always touching each other's faces. So can't wait for her to be back the other day she was in her bed doing crazy like popcorns and twitches for a second there I was actually freaked out thinking like oh my goodness what's wrong with her but I think she has so much pent-up energy because literally she only has a small little one by two area where she can walk around but 
it's for the best so that we can make sure her incision heals nicely so on Sunday was the day of itchy for her incision so she did nibble a little bit and took off a little bit of the scab so that was pretty stressful so I used Bactine to put on where she had kind of nibbled it because there was a little drop of blood on the fleece in the morning on Sunday so I had to get a really good look at it and yeah sure enough at the bottom part where she could reach she had nibbled some of the scab off and it was a little fresh looking luckily all her sutures are inside so like tucked down in so at least she wasn't chewing off sutures but still that was a bit stressful but the Bactine seemed to help because that is an antiseptic and it also has properties to like numb out so that you're not going to feel itchy or feel pain so I think it worked but other than that we've been doing okay hi hi little cutie you have one of the sweetest little faces you're so pretty see and then we're a different piggy on this side she's so cute why are piggies so cute? So anyway, this is going to be a relaxing day for the piggies. Hi hey, Tubbies, can you say hi? And you're so pretty. And you're so, so pretty. I love you. You having a snack? Yes. Love you too, Miss Belvy. Hi sweetie, yes I'm talking to you. You're so funny. Where are you going? Are you gonna snooze? Love you. Yeah, Racy Bear's still sleeping. Sorry guys that you didn't get to see her. So I will see everybody later. Hopefully the next one of the next videos you'll be seeing soon is putting Raisin back with everybody. So I'll see you guys later. If you like watching guinea pig videos learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!